Hello friends, today I'll talk about the new utility called DMC Top. DMC Top is the new utility which is replacement of DB2 Top. The DB2 Top is going. The DB2 Top has not been developed by IBM for many many years. If the, the version that I the, that you were using when you started as a DBA, the DB2 Top and what you are using now is absolutely the same. It has not undergone any changes and I do not believe IBM is going to modify DB2 Top any further. So whatever new features which are getting released in DB2, they are not being integrated with DB2 Top and hence we cannot monitor those features with DB2 Top, which begs the question, what is the replacement for DB2 Top? And then we have a, another utility called DMC Top, which we can use. I'm not sure whether it is uh, uh, shipped with DB2 as DB2 top. DB2 top is shipped with DB2, but I'm not sure whether D DMC top is shipped with DB2. What I have done is like I have downloaded it from the IBM website, so you can download it. The as I mentioned, the DB DMC top utility can monitor DB2 version 11.1, fixed pack and above. It is intended primarily for use on Linux and Windows systems. So I'm not sure whether you can use this utility on your AIX, but yes, you can use it on Linux and Windows. And you can actually monitor from Windows. What, what I mean monitor from Windows is not only you can monitor the Windows DB2, DB2 top, you cannot monitor the DB2 data, Windows data systems, but this you can use it to monitor the DB2 on Windows. At the same time, you can monitor the Linux databases from windows so you don't have to go to putty you don't have to launch the putty you can monitor from putty or you can launch the gui so what i'll do is i launch my command prompt so let me launch my command prompt this is my windows machine and i have launched my command prompt and let me go to the location where i have stored this particular utility so i've gone there and if you see here you can see a folder called bin under that folder you have this particular utility so let me run this particular utility and then it will fail it and this is the syntax so you have to mention and db host the node name or the server name the r for the remote port by default it will try to use 5000 50000 the database name which you want to connect the username and password and so many other options and the beauty of this uh, solution is by default it uses the ssl communication so if you want to use it non-ssl you have to mention insecure that will fail so i just try to do that so let me uh, let me do one thing let me connect to this particular database called test which is hosted on linux machine called db2 so let me uh, exe minus n 192.168.1.102 then minus u db2 p user using password minus p i can pro i can queue the password here or i can uh enter it and it will prompt for the password so let me do that minus uh, u db2 p minus d for database name minus uh, r for port so let me do all of this and now it is asking for the password uh, and it failed because by default it is using this SSL communication. So if I want to use the non SSL, I'll have to use this minus insecure option, which I will do. And now I will also put the password because I don't want it to prompt for me the password. So let me put the password. And if you see, I believe if everything goes fine, the connection will be made to DB2. So let's give it a moment and it launches this particular beautiful screen and you see I have a equivalent of DB2 top and I can see overview and then I can also see the throughput. So here workloads so if I have got any workloads. So if you see I have got uh, load WCP and this particular WLM monitoring was not part of db2 top you can't uh, look at the workloads or service classes and then uh, we have time spent so we can see the time spent with different different time spent where it is spending the time uh, and then top consumers which was available in uh, our db2 top as well then the connections so what what i have done now if you see i have connected to my windows sorry my linux db2 database 
using the windows command prompt this is my windows command prompt if you see and i have connected to my linux db2 database on my windows so next time if you want to connect if you want to do the db2 top always you have to launch the putty session you have to go to the server and then you have to launch the db2 top you don't need to do that you, you don't need to go to the window uh, putty session you don't have to go to the server you can actually monitor your database from within windows using this particular db2 top utility so this is one way the next option that i mentioned is you can always launch the linux putty server so let i have done that here so here i have already gone to that particular path so you have you can see that there is a utility called db dmc top it's exactly same so if i do this it will ask for all these options exactly same so let me clear the screen and here i'm saying let me monitor a database called test and it shows okay so uh, okay so not minus not capital it's small d and then it is uh, by default secure connection and you see now i have connected uh, and you can you can literally see all of the same information that we saw from the windows literally uh, the throughput the top consumers members and you know not only the fact that uh, it allows us to monitor the um, monitor the databases it also helps us to monitor the pure scale and the uh, hdr so you know here you can see ivo buffer pools prefetcher table spaces tables uh, and you see pure scale performance so uh, this pure scale you cannot monitor using the uh, using the db2 top but you can monitor the pure scale or hdr in 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 case of your d this dmc top so it's it's really i i have to, that is not at close to db2 top but it actually is uh, it's close to it's it's better i would say it's it's really better i i i would personally advise you to go ahead and try this particular new utility and it it provides a lot of the information and then then there comes the beauty not only this particular utility allows us to use the to allows us to do the gui based but they have also launched something called the gui version so let me launch this gui version this is not the data server manager this is the ibm db2 database management console so if you see ibm db2 data management console so this is the another database which i have already configured and if i click on this particular database which is being get it, getting monitored so let me click on this particular database and you see responsiveness through throughput and if i want to run some sql and if i click on this monitor i can see database time span and all these beautiful graphs that i can get and then if i want to see the ivo and if i want to see my storage so uh, you don't have any so literally i don't have any data so uh and if i want to see locking so you know it, it it this particular this is not the data server manager this is the new tool ibm db2 data management console and it's it's really it's something that you can use in your project to monitor your databases and you want to explore the tables views authorization schemas workloads so literally there are so many things it's 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 customized for db2 and it it is a really great tool so what i'm trying to say is like there is a new tool called dmc top go ahead and use it db2 top has not been developed it's an old tool i i'm not sure when ibm is going to remove it it's it's one of the favorite dba tools but yes there is a replacement and there are there is you can monitor your linux databases from your windows using the windows command prompt you can launch your uh, gui version and you can launch your uh, monitor your databases or traditionally you can launch your putty session and monitor your databases i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for watching see you in next video bye bye